Justin Brown, man. I said, Junior, you know, boy, Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. <laughs> Hey, yeah, money, bro. We're on the way up, baby. Yeah, got Tosmo coming up, baby. Look at us now. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? This your boy Money back with another one, man. And we talking a big fight on June the 1st between Anthony Joshua, the unified heavyweight champion, taking on Andy Ruiz, you know, the, the, the Mexican warrior, you know. First of all, I want to say... Um, sorry to Anthony Joshua, man, for having to go through this situation. We know these things happen a lot in the game of boxing. You know, when things happen, you got to pull out and um, and find a, a replacement, man. You know, in a situation that happened so so close to the fight, and um, you got to run around and play Duck, Duck, Goose with who you going to pick the fight and get criticism about the shit because, you know what I mean, you're trying to make the best fight happen, but certain things come out and it's making it like you're not. So I want to apologize to Anthony Joshua on that and salute him for continuing to fight in America and um, picking the right opponent, man, because Michael Hunter wasn't the right opponent. Michael Hunter was not the right opponent. You dig what I mean? Luis Ortiz was. They dropped the ball. Andy, Andy is the man up next, and I salute it. I salute it. But um, Joshua, I respect him. You know, he took on this guy right here, Andy Ruiz. They picked the right guy. Like I say, Wilder is tied up. Fury is tied up. They tried to make it happen with Luis Ortiz. It didn't happen. Now you got Andy Ruiz, somebody that is, he is a top 10 heavyweight. He did fight Joseph Parker, and a lot of people thought he beat Joseph Parker. You know, me, myself, I thought Joseph Parker pulled it out. You know, but if I can see how they thought Andy Ruiz pulled it out, and I can't knock him if they had him winning the fight. You know what I mean? But Andy is a warrior. He just came off a, a spectacular um, W, you know, took out um, Demachenko, and, and now he got an opportunity of a lifetime. He got an opportunity of a lifetime, and I don't think he want to let it go. I seen this interview where he felt like that was his belt that Joseph Parker had, so he felt like Anthony Joshua was holding on to his title, motivation in himself. You know, we know Andy is going to bring it. He's not going to back down. He's not going to shy away. But this guy right here, Joshua, is a killer. He is a killer, bro. He is a top heavyweight for a reason. He is the unified heavyweight for a reason. Because he got skills, he got power, he got heart, and he got dog. You know? Do we take his criticism over here in America? Of course he do. Of course he do. You know? But even with that being said, he's the fighter. He's the professional. He got to block all that shit out and get ready for June the 1st. And I believe he will be ready for June the 1st. You know? I believe he will be ready for June the 1st. But um, I got to salute Joshua. Like I say, man, one hell of a fighter. He showed me he had dog in um, the um, the guy from Russia, man, the Pavekin fight. The Pavekin fight. And I can't take that away from him. You know, he showed he had dog in the Pavekin fight. And Pavekin is short just like Andy Ruiz, so it showed Joshua something. But Andy, you know, he got a, a different type of style than Pervekin. You know, that means Andy is going to bring it. His whole style is to fight, yo. He's smart. Um, you know, he's calculated with his punches. He's not going to try to waste punches. And he's going to do whatever he got to do to try to get on the inside to make it work for him. That's what I like about Andy Ruiz, man. He's not going to sit back. He's not going to let somebody dictate the pace. He's going to come full steam ahead. If you catch him, you catch him. But at the same time, he's going to be working his game plan to try to make it work for him. And that's all you can ask out of a competitor. That's all you can ask out of a competitor. You know, he's going to have to be careful with this man Joshua. You know, because Joshua do got a good jab and he got a beautiful hook. And he's not going to shy away. Joshua is not going to shy away. You know? But Andy is going to have to come in, be smart, but at the same time, keep that aggressive style that he got. Because if you can force Anthony Joshua to work, you understand what I'm saying? Force him to work, you give yourself, you know, a shot at, at being victorious, man. You give yourself a shot. Because that's the only how you can gas Joshua out. When a lot of people say he got he got um, stamina problems, if you're not forcing him to work, you're not going to gas him. If he's fighting at his pace and he get comfortable, he can do that all night. You know, he can do that all night. And, and eventually he's going to strike and he's going to catch your ass. He's going to put you out, you know. So you're going to have to make him work, um, try to dog it out, 
and try to get through rounds. And one thing Andy Ruiz got, he's got stamina. He's got stamina. So don't look at his body and, and be like, oh, this a fat pudgy guy. Oh, he ain't this, he ain't that. Some people don't get six packs, man. A la Maki Garcia. You know, some people don't get six packs, but they got great fucking stamina because they are healthy and they work their ass off, you know? So Ruiz gonna have to get in there and try to push that pace and be like a Sean Porter, you know? Be ferocious, use your stamina. Try to use your strengths towards his weaknesses. You dig what I mean? And, and some of Joshua's weaknesses, Joshua don't move for real, man. He don't move for real. Yes, he can switch up his height, but you can force Anthony Joshua to fight. You can force him to fight. And Ruiz is going to have to be mindful of that. But he's going to have to be careful at the same time. Because like I said, Joshua, strong jab, strong hook, can throw combinations, can, can, can land it to the body. You know? And just because you're short, like I say, Joshua showed me he can switch his height up in a preventing fight where he, 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 he'll give his height up to get low with you and land the shot where he want to place it. You know? That takes heart. That takes heart. And, and like I tell people all the time, Anthony Joshua faced adversity, yo. He faced adversity with Klitschko getting dropped, making it through the rounds, being hurt, fighting through the, through the pain. You know what I mean? Fighting through the loud crowds. Faced adversity with Prevecan, got cracked on the chin, got hurt. But you know what? He showed that dog in him to not give up. He showed that dog in him to say, you know what? I ain't going nowhere. You did that, you better finish me. Because if you don't, I'm going to knock you the fuck out. And that's what he told Klitschko. And he knocked him the fuck out. You know, did the same to Bevecan. Knocked him the fuck out. So a reason going to have to be mindful of that and, and, and take that in consideration that you're not going to disturb Joshua with what you're doing. Your job is to try to get in there and try to fatigue him and keep him moving and working. You know, keep him moving and working. But at the same time, like I said, be smart about it. And, and this is the heavyweight division. So one punch can end the whole night. And we know the one punch can end the whole night in boxing, period. But the heavyweight division is the epitome of that. The heavyweight division is the epitome of that. And that's a fact. Because those boys crack, crack. You know, it gets no bigger than the heavyweight division. You can't go up to the next level. You can't go, I mean, you can't go up two, two weight classes. No, that's, it's in at the heavyweight division. So that's the creme de la creme of the power. You know, no fighter in boxing hit harder than Deontay Wilder. Sorry, Tank, you my guy and I rocks with you, but no, sir. You don't hit harder than Deontay Wilder. You know, Deontay Wilder is the hardest hit cat in punching. I'm sorry, in boxing. What the hell am I talking about in punching? Of course, he's he the hardest hit when he punched somebody, but in boxing. Deontay Wilder is the hardest hitting cat in boxing. You know, and it shows. So, Joshua is not short of power at all. He's not short of power. He showed that as well. So, if he catch Louise, he's going to feel it. He's going to feel it. And vice versa, because Louise got some pop. We ain't going to act like Louise can't crack now. He got some pop on him. You know, he ain't Joe Joyce. I like Joe Joyce, but people was talking about Joe Joyce power, this, that, and the third. When Joe Joyce fought Bermain Stavern, come on now, man. You had a dead man with his hands down. You couldn't knock him out. You know, so Louise got some pop, you know, but I think Joshua carried more power than Louise. I think Joshua was getting ready to be more physically stronger because of um, Big Baby Miller. So I, I know he was putting the muscle on to, ha to have that, that strong core to hold his ground. Like I said, that was going to shock Big Baby. It was going to shock him when he see how strong Joshua was and he see that he couldn't move that man. And from there, it would have went bad. So with that being said, I don't think Joshua's going to try to switch up and try to get get down to where he can be, you know, a little trimmer to, to move a little better around the ring. But I feel like he going in with the power. I feel like Joshua thinking, you know what, this guy can't crack. He do come forward. Tell her made for a counter shot. Tell her made for an upper cup hook. And I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Upper cup hook. Take Louise out in the ninth round. I'm calling it, but I will say this, Louise will give trouble. He will get trouble, and I do think he make it to the ninth round. I really do. I really do, because I think his stamina can take him a long way. A long way. And he's smart. You know? 
it don't show in the ring. I know people don't look at it, but Ruiz is smart. You know, so once again on the inside, he know how to hold. He know how to, you know, just them little tactics to make it pass a few rounds. So I do think he can make it to the ninth. But whatever round he um the fight end in, because I do got it as a knockout stoppage, Anthony Joshua, upper cup, hook. Or it's gonna be a hook straight. Watch what I tell you, bro. Watch what I tell you. I feel like Ruiz is telling made for it because he walks right in. He walks right in. But it just depends on do he try to jab his way in or do he try to jump in with a hook, you know? So it's going to be an interesting fight, bro. It's going to be an interesting fight. But I'm so appreciative that Andy Ruiz jumped in. I'm appreciative that it is Andy Ruiz, you know, when you look at it and you, and you just look at overall the heavyweight division. I don't think it was a more solid po opponent than Andy Ruiz to take this fight. I like Konaki, but we heard, we seen he turned the fight down. I think they got something going on with, with Konaki and um, Luis Ortiz. I got a video coming on Luis Ortiz. Don't be surprised when y'all hear what I got to say, you know. But Adam Konaki, I feel like he could have been in position because he has been doing this thing. But besides him, Andy Ruiz is the right guy. You know, he's the right guy. You know, so we'll just see how it turned out to be. Um, June the 1st is going down. Anthony Joshua, Andy Ruiz, Madison Square Garden, you know, for the IBF, the WBA, the WBO, and the IBO heavyweight world titles. Going to be one hell of a fight. It's going to be very entertaining. And I pray that this is a success for Anthony Joshua, man. I pray that this is a success for Anthony Joshua, you know, just to keep it real. Like I said, I like Anthony Joshua. I give him all the credit in the world because the man did help bring the heavyweight division back. He helped bring the heavyweight division back. And the heavyweight division is thriving. It's a lot of money at the heavyweight division. And he's a big part of it. So I salute that man for that. Can't wait. June the 1st is going down, man. Salute to these fighters. Big Baby Miller, get your shit together. I wish you the best. You know? But this will be one entertaining fight, everybody. Don't miss it. Until then, this your boy Monty. That's the NSBC movement. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to donate, it's in the description. And I'll be back with another one.